Question uh, number 29. Which of the following describes morphological operations in image analysis? Morphological operations in image analysis. A technique for color correction. B. Operations that process image based on shapes. C. Methods for image compression. D. Algorithms for image segmentation. So this morphology means related to shapes. So this is operations uh, that process images based on their shapes. Based on their shapes. So the correct answer is B. Great. Question number 13. In supervised classification, what is the role of training data and how can the quality, the quantity of this data affect the classification results? Training, uh, training data is used to validate the accuracy of the classification results, higher quantity uh, sensor or fitting, B training data helps uh, initial clustering of data points, higher quality ensures faster processing, C training data is used to train the classification algorithm by providing known examples of different classes, higher quality and sufficient quantity leads to more accurate and reliable classification results, D training data is used for Post classification smoothing higher quality ensures reduced processing time. So the correct answer is training data is used to train the what the classification algorithm by providing known examples from different classes. Higher quality and sufficient quantity lead to more accurate and reliable classification results. So the answer is C. Okay, great. Question number 31. What is image segmentation in the context of uh, remote sensing in NDGAs. A, a technique to classify pixels into different classes based on spectral characteristics. B is the process of combining multiple images into single seamless images. C is the division of an image into meaningful regions or objects. D is the comparison of spectral characteristics over different time periods. So the correct answer is the division of an image into meaningful, uh, meaningful regions or objects. Okay, great. Question number 32, which image segmentation technique involves partitioning an image into segments based on the intensity of the pixels where pixels with similar intensities are grouped together, origin growing, thresholding, edge detection, and the last one is clustering. So uh, the correct answer is uh, it is thresholding. It is thresholding. Okay, great. Question number 33. Which one is satellite based portioning system? A levels, B theory light, C total station, uh, D spuntic. So the, the correct answer is spuntic. This is a satellite based position system in uh, geometry. In geometry. Uh, question number 34. One is not global satellite navigation and position system. Jonas, Galileo, GPS. Uh, 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 the last one is Edu. Uh, so this is a website which is found in Chinese. The other one is a type of GPS. Okay. Uh, question number thirty-five. One is false about uh, uh, augmentation system. A ground-based uh, provides higher precision service than satellite-based. Yes. B. Ground-based AS is uh, designed to serve local area. Uh, C. Satellite-based AS provides higher precision service than ground-based AS. D. Satellite-based augmented system is broadcasting to the users using geostationary uh, satellites. So this satellite-based AS provides higher accuracy service than ground-based. The answer is this one. Question number 36. How many satellite constellation of GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Biadu respectively? So this is uh, how many uh, satellite constellation of uh, uh, this respectively uh, is 6333. So this is a, a constellation or the collection. Question number 37. Which one is the uh, simplest method of measuring horizontal distances? Pacing matrix, tapping matrix, stereo matrix, ADM matrix. So uh, these are 
The pacing meters are the horizontal measures horizontal distances very, very easily. Okay, great. Measurement is made along a line that is inclined by a vertical angle of 30 degrees as measured using a hand level clinometer. The slope measurement is uh, 156.52 meters, what is the corresponding horizontal distance? So, this is a uh, you can uh, calculate using an angle with a distance uh, conversion. So, this is the correct answer uh, would be uh, this one 655.17 meters. You can do the calculations. Question number uh, thirty-nine. One is hardly true about distance measurement by pace meter. The length of a pace is varying with different persons. The length of pace is erratic with the speed of pacing. So the distance measured by a pace will give a more accurate result. The length of a pace is fluctuating. The slope of the slope of the slope of time. The slope of terrain, so the distance measured by pace will give you more accurate result. More accurate result. So the answer would be C. Question number 40. A line XYZ is measured on the slope on two uh, segments. The first segment XY measures this amount, and the, seg the second segment YZ measures this amount. If the difference in elevation between points XY is this amount, and that between Y and Z is uh, this amount, Determine the horizontal thickness of uh, the measured line. So you can uh, calculate based on uh, distance to angle uh, principles. So I will uh, give you the, just the uh, result and you can calculate by uh, uh, yourself. So the answer is uh, uh, this one to uh, Tony uh, 68.80. So this uh, you can uh, check it. And uh, the second one is also the answer will be 40 meters. You can check this one also. Okay. And uh, the third calculation will be the suppose you measure slope distance. From A to B, you also measure the Z angle uh, of uh, this, what is the corresponding vertical distance. So the corresponding vertical distance, also the answer is A. You can go through the calculations by using sine cosine to the to convert this slope format. Question uh, 43, except one, all are true about the rules for determining significant features. All non-zero digits are significant. Zero split units are significant. Are significant. Zero split at the end of the decimal numbers are significant. Leading zero stars to the left of the first non-zero digits are significant. So the correct answer is uh, leading zero at the uh, to the left of the first non-zero digits are significant. Non-zero digits are significant. Question 44. Why the watershed management approach is appropriate means of natural resource management? A. Water is followed from upstream to downstream. B. Soil erosion not followed from downstream to upstream. C. Degradation of upstream is a cause of fragile downstream. D. To protect agroecology of sub and the downstream. So, in natural resource management. In natural resource management. Degradation of upstream is always a cause of fragile downstream. Fragile downstream. Okay, great. 45. The main object of watershed management is to improve the level the living standards of the upstream community. Using the watershed for irrigation purposes to develop more than aerosols at a time to increase the presence of natural and man-made uh, man uh, man uh, disturbs. Man -made, uh, disturbs. So, to develop more than one resource at, at a time, up at a time. Okay, great. Question number uh, 46. If you are assigned to perform irrigation suitability analysis for anger watershed, which is function is appropriate to compute suitability analysis, 
neighborable function, measurement function, network function, overlay function. So the correct answer is overlay function because in order to compute CTMVT analysis for a certain area, you have to consider uh, multiple factors. These multiple factors lead us to multi criteria decision making analysis. This multi criteria decision making analysis finally is computed with an overlay. Question number 47 from the remote sensing data resolution. Which one is used to identify the status of healthy and unhealthy uh, crops? A spatial resolution, B radiometric resolution, C spectral resolution, D temporal resolution. So this uh, spectral resolution, this spectral resolution uh, helps to define unhealthy and healthy uh, crops with uh, normalized difference vegetation indexes. 48. From the following statement, one is correct about precision farming. A decrease the duration of harvesting, B regulates the amount of fertilizer and water applied at a given location, C makes the most of our energy waste, D maximize nutrient deficient sites. So, uh, in, uh, in precision farming, regulates the amount of fertilizer and water applied at a given location is the main. Uh, the main uh, principles, the main principles. Question number 49. Which multispectral image bands are suggested to us as subscribe conditions information? A microwave band, C mid infrared band, D panchromatic band, so near infrared. In near infrared band, we have to assess uh, crop conditions with the formula of NDVI functions or any DBI indexes. Question uh, number 50. The reason multicollateral analysis is op uh, optimal, groundwater management is. Groundwater is dynamic resource. Groundwater is found in accessible region to evaluate integrate different data layers D to maximize groundwater uh, discharge. So the answer is to evaluate in and integrate multiple uh, uh, data layers. Okay, great. Question number 51, to say what geographic area is suitable for agriculture or not, what criteria is needed to be fulfilled, availability and proximity of river, availability of rural and town, availability of fertile soil, the intersection of stated criteria. So the answer is the intersection, the intersection of created criteria or in all the analysis we have to consider so many criteria in order to determine the certain area is suitable for agriculture or not? Suitable for agriculture or not? Okay, great. Okay, great. Question number uh, 52. Suppose the Romea Agricultural Office went to study drought status of Boronazon, which satellite is most recommended to be used? A spot X, Moris Terra, Aveche, Aster Terra. So this is. Um, this is the answer is uh, monitora because the temporal the, the temporal resolution that means the revisit time is very short. So this is uh, used to analyze the change detection of uh, drought status of corona zone. So in order to acquire based on a temporal studies in a change detection, monitora is very 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 uh, essential, very essential. 53. Why the geospatial data are the most important for agricultural and watershed management? It gives real-time spatial information, manage land more efficiently, reducing impact and costs. The all of the above. So this, this geospatial data is important for all. Important for all. Okay, great. Question number 54. From the following one is used to develop a set of standards and specifications for how spatial data is accessed and distributed. HTTP protocol, GML, CISO, G, OGC, DOGC. So, uh, for a set of standards and specifications, how spatial is accessed and distributed. Uh, this is uh, ISO. ISO. Okay, great. 
Question number 55. Of the following is correct about principle of open source JS. License must be specific to the product, no? The freedom to run the program for any purpose, great. Distribution agreed field of study, no? No integrity of the author's source code, no, no. So the answer is the freedom to run the program for any purpose, for any purpose. In distributed JS, the function of clients and server are integrated computing systems. What does it indicate? A system is platform dependent. B the system is application dependent. C is the client can only request service from the server and the server can only provide service. Any computer could be both the servers if, if it provides and the client if it requests a service. If it requests a service, so the answer is this one. Answer is this one. So this is uh, part two of JS and the remote sensing exit exam questions. If you are new to this YouTube channel, please like and subscribe to get more uh, questions. We will uh, back in uh, part three. Until then, goodbye.